In Spanish, a lot of words are either affirmative or positive words and negative words. Some of the words that we've already learned in Spanish class are alien, which means someone or anyone, algo, which means something, algún, algunos, alguno, alguna, algunas, which means some or any, siempre, which means always, and también, which means also. We use también, a mí también, me too, right? Negative words include nadie, no one or nobody, nada, which is nothing, ningún, ninguno, ninguna, which is no, none, or not any, nunca, which is never, and tampoco, which means neither or either. So when we talked about uh, things that we like, and somebody, uh, we talked about things, excuse me, that we don't like, and somebody agreed that they didn't like it either, they could say, a mí tampoco. One of the big reasons for the affirmative and negative words is the fact that in Spanish, it's okay to use double negatives, and in fact, you're supposed to use double negatives. That's why there's negative words. The affirmative words are clearly the words that are used most. But in order to speak in the negative, you have to use the negative words. Here's how. An example would be if somebody asked, ¿Alguien está en la clase de álgebra? Is anybody in the algebra class? Alguien is the positive word. Is anybody? A negative answer would be, No, nadie está en la clase de álgebra. In other words, there is a double negative. No, no one, or no, nobody's in the cl algebra class. Another example would be if you wanted something to eat. Hey, hay algo de comer? Is there something to eat? No, no hay nada de comer. Triple negative, no, no hay nada. And basically what that means is the first no is no, the answer to the question. The second thing, there isn't nothing to eat. No, no hay nada de comer. Or you might say, place that you shop at a lot, right? Yo voy siempre a esta tienda. ¿Y tú vas mucho? No, no voy nunca, right? I never go. No, I don't ever go. No, no voy nunca. You may say, you may ask the question, ¿Algunos estudiantes comen en la clase de inglés? A negative answer would be, no, ningún estudiante come nunca en la clase de inglés. Tampoco bebe. Tampoco means neither. So, no, ningún estudiante, the no student eats never in la clase de inglés. This is proper. Double, triple negatives is okay in Spanish. And that's why there's affirmative and negative words. So affirmative and negative words are easy to use and to understand once you've grasped them. And so the first thing you need to do is make sure that you got a good memory of them. Memorize the words. Alguien is someone or anyone. Algo is something. Algún, alguno, alguna. Algunos, algunas is some or any. Are there any? Hay algunos. Uh, siempre means always. And también means also or two. The negative words are nadie is no one or nobody. Nada is nothing. Ningún, ninguno, ninguna is no or none or not any. No hay ningún. No hay ninguna. Nunca means never. And tampoco means neither and either. 
I've posted this video to YouTube so that my students can watch it as many times as necessary in order to master this concept. However, if you need to get in touch with me to clarify something, you know where you can reach me, at Senor Denim on Twitter.